Hey everyone, welcome back to another repaint video. Well, if you saw my video on the unboxing of the Zuru Dino Strike figures, you know I am absolutely obsessed with those little plastic dinosaur figures, mainly because with a little imagination, you can convert some of your Mattel Jurassic World figures into Dino Riders. So I went back to Walmart the other day and picked up some more of those blind balls, and I ended up getting their T-Rex and their Velociraptor. The T-Rex is a nice little homage to the Kenner Red Rex. And when you get these figures, they come with a bunch of these weapons and accessories. And my favorite part about them is a lot, all of them come with these little helmets right here, which are very reminiscent of the brain boxes used in Dino Riders. Now, some of these helmets will fit on some of your Jurassic World figures. Not all of them. And like I said, those Dino Strike figures... They are in blind ball, so you never know which figure you're going to get. So hopefully you'll get lucky. So what I ended up doing was doing a repaint of, this is the Battle Damage Blue, to look like the Dino Riders Deinonychus. I am a child of the 80s, and I absolutely love Dino Riders when it came out. The toys were absolutely fantastic. They were some of the best dinosaur toys back then. They were really, really great looking figures. They were so good. They actually even got re-released into the Smithsonian Institution dinosaur toy line. So what I wanted to do was just kind of recreate that Dino Riders feel. So I got this Battle Damage Blue right here. I ended up grabbing it on clearance at Walmart for about six bucks and just painted it to look like the Dino Riders Deinonychus. It's a pretty simple repaint. All I really did was, let me just bring it in closer right here. I just coated the body in Apple Barrel Acrylic Paints in Terrestrial Beige and give it a nice wash in Chocolate Brown to bring out all those folds and wrinkles just to kind of highlight those. And the blue, I used Mountain Blue for it. And for the white, I ended up using Antique White for the stomach and claws. But as you can see, this came out really, really nice. I do absolutely love the Mattel Battle Damage Raptor mold. So this does make a nice stand-in for the Dino Riders. Deinonychus, I ended up painting the eyes red because one of my little peeves with the toy line back then was, you know, when the Rulons would brain box the dinosaurs, their eyes would turn red now that they're underneath their mind control. And I always wanted to see that simulated in the toy line. So I ended up painting the eyes red on this Deinonychus. So when I put the helmet on it, it has that red mind control look. But yeah, pretty, very simple, easy repaint. I really didn't spend too much time on it because... Most of the figure is going to be covered up by the armor on it. So let me just put this guy to the side for a second. And these are some of the helmets that I painted to go on this Deinonychus. This helmet right here actually comes with the Dino Strike T-Rex. I just added some purple highlights on it and some red just to really add some more depth to this helmet. It does look really nice. It actually kind of fits on the Raptor. I kind of just half-assed it with a little bit of electrical tape padding and this helmet right here is the one that comes with the ankylosaurus and this helmet fits absolutely perfectly on the mattel raptors this helmet is a little bit beat up because i originally thought i lost it but my dog ended up getting a hold of it and i ended up finding it the other day so the teeth marks on here were actually where i was going to paint it anyways so uh, it actually kind of worked out for the best and here is the harness that's going to go on the back of this Deinonychus. I just painted the ends of the barrels in red. It has some black. Yeah, the black looks really sloppy and crappy. I have extremely shaky hands when I'm painting. I'm probably just going to go over that with red paint because I'm just not a fan of how that black turned out. And I added some more red and purple highlights on here because these Dino Strike figures, all the weapons are just cast in straight up gray plastic. All right, so enough about that. Let's get this Deinonychus armored up. And here is the Deinonychus all armored up. I haven't used the Beast of the Mo Mesozoic Raptor stand just to kind of keep this figure from falling over. You know, the Mattel figures weren't really designed to have, you know, extra stuff hanging off their bodies. But yeah, I think this pulls off a really nice looking Dino Riders look. And one of the things I did with the cannons, if you remember from my first video about these, the Transformer Siege Blast effects. I tried to get them to fit inside the weapons the ports were just a little bit too small so what I ended up doing was I drilled the holes on the guns just a hair bigger and that allowed me to actually get these blast effects to fit in perfectly and I think that is just 
an awesome looking touch. It just adds, you know, if you just use your imagination with these, you can just come up with some really, really cool stuff. And I, like I said, I'm just absolutely digging these Dino Strike figures. Let me pop this blast effect out of the cannon right here. And the helmet on this Raptor right now is the one that came in with the Ankylosaurus. Let me just pop this off quick. And right here is the helmet that came with the T-Rex. I just have some electrical tape padding in here just to show you how that fits on. Let me just add some light in there so you can see the red eyes. And I think both helmets work really, really good on the Raptors. I've been playing around with some of, of the other Mattel Jurassic World figures and... It seems like the like these helmets are really meant for the raptors. I only have a few figures from these Dino Strikes. I just got the Raptor, Stegosaurus, Ankylosaurus, and the T-Rex. There's 13 figures in that set, so maybe some of the other helmets will fit better on some of the other dinosaurs. Now, I just used a red elastic to hold the harness on. Yeah, it looks like crap. I'm going to try to do some modifications and put some slits on this harness and maybe cut the elastic and try to get everything to tie in so it can fit on better. So I just picked up a cheap bag of red and blue elastics from Walmart just because the old Dino Rider figures, most of the figures had almost like eight rubber band to hold on that back armor. Now you really can't call this a Dino Rider without it having a rider on its back. So I was trying to figure out a way to get a chair incorporated to the top of this harness right here. So I came up with this. This is a Battlemaster from the Transformer Siege line, just turns into a gun and a robot. But after finagling with it a little bit, this gun right here actually does pop off and just kind of reposition everything. And you can kind of get like a quasi looking chair. So what I'm gonna do is just pop it into the back of the Deinonychus like that and get this mercenary figure from the Jurassic World line and just pop him in the seat right here. Let me just spread his legs a little bit. And let's see how that looks. And let me focus in on that. And there you go. Now you have a rider for the Deinonychus. And I think that works okay. I mean, it's not the best, but it's definitely another option you can do. With these battle masters go for like six bucks bucks each i'm gonna try to look for something else to get a more realistic looking seat but yeah definitely definitely works you can use the arms as kind of like joysticks to, to control this mind controlled dinosaur but yeah definitely a cool idea i've been trying to fit around with the rest of the helmets i've gotten with these dino strike figures this one right here came with the stegosaurus and the only dinosaur i've actually gotten this to fit on is the Mononychus, and it actually fits quite well on the Mononychus. You kind of get that sketchy look with that helmet right there. And this one right here, this is the helmet that came with the Velociraptor, and I really haven't got this to fit on any of the Mattel figure until I actually put it on this Tyrannodon right here. And I actually put the helmet on backwards, and it fits on the Tyrannon pretty well, and this harness right here, this is the one that comes with the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I just put these other ones on the wings right here, this is the ones that came with the Stegosaurus, so yeah, definitely have a lot of fun just turning random figures into Dino Riders with these pieces. And I figured, why stop with the Mattel figures, let's see what else this stuff can fit on, so... That Raptor helmet actually fits beautifully on the Eofauna Atlasaurus, so you can turn this long-armed sauropod into a walking deaf machine, and I just think that is just absolutely hilarious. I just, I'm having a lot of fun playing around with these Dino Strike figures. There's just so much cool stuff you can do with a little imagination with these things, so yeah, you can even take your highly accurate, scientifically sound dinosaur models and just turn them into dino riders so that's another thing you can do so that will do it for this repaint video as you can tell i am having an absolute blast messing around with these dino strike accessories you can find these blind balls at walmart they're right near the toy aisle in this big long row of shippers that come in these bright orange balls so if 
you're interested in, you know, trying to make your own dino riders, definitely pick up a few of them and, you know, just mix and match the parts and just play around and just have fun with it. This is just something really cool and nostalgic for me, and I really, really enjoy doing this. I'm probably going to be doing more dino riders repaint now in the future since I have, like, you know, actual stuff I can make the accessories with. So that will pretty much do it for this video. And remember, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. The channel is almost at the 1,000 subscriber mark, and I love it if it hit that milestone really soon. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously, and it's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.